Gladiators, the fierce warriors of ancient Rome, were the ultimate spectacle. They were the rock stars of their day, drawing in crowds by the thousands to witness their brutal battles. But behind the glamour and fame lies a dark reality. They were slaves forced to fight for their lives in the name of entertainment. And yet, despite their status, they were objects of desire for many. Their sweat and blood were even considered aphrodisiacs. Get ready to be transported back in time as we uncover the untold stories of these legendary fighters. From the blood-soaked arenas to the steamy back alleys, today we will take you on a journey through the tantalizing and scandalous world of Roman gladiators. With that said, welcome to Proper History. It's time for some Proper History. In ancient Rome, the sweat and blood of gladiators were considered highly desirable. Their sweat was collected and sold as a beauty treatment, often mixed with other ingredients and applied to the skin. It was even collected into pots and sold as souvenirs. The blood of gladiators was also believed to have aphrodisiac properties, and it was used in various rituals. Some women would even have their hair parted with a sword dipped in the blood of a deceased gladiator on their wedding night as a symbol of fertility and to ensure a long and fruitful married life. The Roman graffiti discovered in Pompeii also offers insight into the use of gladiators' fluids as aphrodisiacs, with explicit references to gladiators' sweat and blood being used for sexual enhancements. This practice highlights the sexualized nature of gladiators in Roman society and the almost magical powers attributed to their blood. It's important to note that gladiators themselves were not always willingly participating in these practices, and it highlights the sexualization and objectification of gladiators in Roman society. The gladiators were admired for their bravery, strength, and willingness to risk their lives for the entertainment of others. However, behind the fame and glory lies a shocking reality. Gladiators were slaves, forced to fight for their lives, and had very little standing in Roman society. They were regarded as little more than laborers, paid to risk their lives for the entertainment of others. Despite their appeal and fame, gladiators were still considered as outcasts in Roman society. They were placed in the lower rungs of the social hierarchy, often compared to other men and women who sold their services, such as actors and those within the sex industry. This highlights the complex and contradictory nature of the gladiator's status in Roman society. On one hand, they were admired for their bravery and strength, and on the other hand, they were shunned and seen as little more than outcasts. The fluids of these fighters were not only collected as souvenirs, but they were also believed to have medicinal properties. Gladiator's blood was used to treat conditions such as infertility, impotence, and some even believed it could cure diseases such as leprosy. The sweat of gladiators was mixed with other ingredients and used to treat a variety of ailments such as cuts, wounds, and even gangrene. Additionally, gladiators' blood and sweat were believed to have healing properties and were used in religious and spiritual rituals. Their blood was even used in religious sacrifices as it was thought to have powerful properties that could bring good luck and prosperity. Furthermore, their sweat was used in similar rituals due to its perceived purifying powers. It is important to note that these practices were not based on any scientific evidence and were strictly rooted in superstition and belief. The use of gladiators' blood and sweat as medicine and in religious rituals highlights the dehumanization of these fighters and their reduced status as nothing more than a source of blood and sweat to be used for the benefit of others. Moreover, many of these practices would have been extremely unsanitary and potentially harmful as gladiators were often injured and could have been carrying diseases. Despite this, the belief in the medicinal properties of gladiators' fluids was so strong that people would have been willing to risk their health for the chance of a cure. While gladiators were considered outcasts in Roman society 
and were often compared to sex workers and actors, they were also highly desired and revered by many. Roman graffiti discovered in Pompeii offers insights into the attraction and desire for gladiators, with explicit references to their relationships and sexual encounters. One inscription reads, Floronius, privileged soldier of the 7th Legion, loves Seleidus the gladiator. This inscription highlights the attraction and desire for gladiators, even among those in the military. It is important to note that the relationship between gladiators and those within Roman society were not always consensual. Gladiators were often slaves and had little agency in their own personal lives. They were also heavily sexualized and objectified, with their bodies being seen as objects of desire rather than individuals. Furthermore, gladiators were not only admired for their physical strength and fighting skills, but also for their bravery and willingness to face death in the arena. This admiration was not limited to the lower class, but also extended to the elite and the imperial family. Gladiatorial games were a form of entertainment and a way of displaying power and wealth, and it was common for the elite to sponsor gladiatorial games as a way of gaining popularity and support from the masses. Additionally, there are many cases of gladiators forming romantic and sexual relationships with their female fans, who were known as gladiator groupies and were not ashamed of their attraction to these fighters. These relationships were not only frowned upon by society, but they were illegal as well, as relationships between gladiators and freeborn women were considered scandalous and morally reprehensible. Overall, the attraction and desire for gladiators in ancient Rome was a complex phenomenon reflecting the social, cultural, and economic realities of the time. With that said, thanks for watching this video. Down in the comments, let us know what you think about gladiators and how they were viewed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos for more interesting stories from the past. From ancient civilizations to modern day events, we have something for everyone. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more Proper History.